Hey, Paul, you know, I've always been fascinated with movie titles and the battles movie studios sometimes fi uh, fight over what the title should be. With this movie, was there any discussion or, or uh, arguments about the title? No, none. <laughs> um, uh, the, the great benefit of Boogie Nights uh, was uh, from its success is that I was able to um, get the privilege of final cut yeah. on a movie. And New Line is a studio that is, that, is, that is just wonderful to me, and they're so respectful of what I want to do and, and how I want to do it. And there was never any question. Yeah. Now, well, with Boogie Nights, and this is a question actually I actually asked Quentin Tarantino after Pulp Fiction, mm -hmm. you, know, you got so much acclaim after uh, Boogie Nights, mm -hmm. uh, as did Quentin Tarantino after, mm -hmm. after Pulp Fiction. With his next film, there are like some people almost seeming to like lie in wait to you know, attack. Is that something that kind of concerns you? Uh, you know what? No, not really. Uh, uh, no, I, hmm, it's hard to say. Yeah, probably a little bit. Uh, it's been in the back of my mind here and there that, that, that some people might just be out to get me just because they want to be out to get me. And, uh, and I think that I'll be smart enough to decipher when that's the case. Yeah. And if I see it, then I'll know that, um, that they're not deserving of my attention anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, the, a great choice of words is smart enough. Now, you know, the people that have an influence on, on your attitudes about the business, not your father, you know, a showbiz, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, legend in, in, in what he did. Uh, what did he teach you about the business that's been helping deal with all this fame thing? Uh, it's, a, it's a funny thing, nothing. You know, and I don't mean that as an insult towards him in any way, but he was peripherally involved in show business, is, is the ironic thing, is that most of his work, in fact, all of his work was done in a recording studio booth away from Hollywood, you know. And um, we never really talked about it much. We never really talked about... My dad was not one to give advice. Oh. He was really just one to, to just uh, kind of sit back and support. Yeah. Well, a question about casting. You know, mm -hmm. last time we talked about casting of Burt Reynolds, and, and remember last time we talked, you know, you, you, you look so young, and, and we're just wondering how like these big name actors would react to you. Uh, mm -hmm. With this film, you know, you got you're Jason Robarts. Yeah. Now, how big a thrill for you uh, to get him for this film? Big, 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 big. I mean, you know, there's the thrill of getting Tom Cruise, which most people ask mm -hmm. about, and it's wonderful to hear you ask about Jason, because that truly was a case of, you know, if I thought I was hot stuff after Boogie Nights, the humbling experience of working with Jason Robards was, was wonderful because for the first couple of hours, for the very first day of working with him, mm -hmm. I truly was nervous to, to give any kind of direction to him. Uh, and then at one point he just said, like, what, don't you, what do you want me to do? You know, and I was like, okay, okay, good, okay, now I can talk to you, you know. And, uh, you know, he's Sir Jason Robards to all of us. And I do have to ask one Tom Cruise question. That's fine. I mean, I mean, was he at all hesitant at any point? Because when he comes in with that opening speech, it's so politically incorrect, very hilarious, but, you know... It's pretty nasty. Yeah, was he a little hesitant about that? You know, the funny thing is, it was he was sort of the exact opposite. Um, is that my job in directing Tom was to sometimes calm him down. <coughs> you know, when you become a character, Frank T.J. Mackey, like yeah. that, it can re you can really get carried away in it, you know, and you start, he started to just sort of improvise things and just sort of fly off the cuff, and I would just say, you need to calm down. He was so excited in playing the part that every once in a while he'd come up with a suggestion like, what if I used a whip in this scene? What if, I'm like, no, you're being an actor, stop, no whip, you know, <laughs> just say the lines, you know, and it was just funny to watch him do that. You know, one of the more fascinating things that ever happened to me was I was on a soundstage once where they were auditioning kids for a, uh, a TV show. Uh -huh. and I, I'd never seen stage moms in action. Yeah. Oh, and, it's a sight, yeah. isn't it? Now, I mean, what inspired you to put those characters, you know, I mean, the adult, you know, yeah. kid star? I mean, what did you... Have you seen with child you, actors? You, you, I, you, I've seen it, and I think we've all seen it, or we're all aware of it, and it's... It's it's not it's it's funny at first, you know, but then when you really examine it and think about it, it's really quite tragic. Um, you know, there's so many sort of young 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 ch young child actors that become kind of tragic, you know, e true Hollywood stories at a certain point, and um, there's a reason for that, and the reason is the way that their parents have treated them. And last question: difficult actress to work with, uh, egos out of control, won't take directions. 
the dogs. Uh, what, any problems with the dogs? <laughs> the, that was the, that. Yes, the the dog. The uh, one of the dogs was the Burt Reynolds of this movie. <laughs> Tr truly difficult. <laughs> um, there was one dog uh, that just wouldn't do what we wanted it to do, but he finally did. Right. Well, you mentioned Burt Reynolds there. I mean, I was curious on the last film. I, I was kind of wondering: was there a little bit of did he have total faith in you when you were making the movie at first? And no, he didn't. Absolutely not. Burt Reynolds didn't have any faith in us, unfortunately, but I think it turned out well for him. <laughs> okay. Like, so, you know, the reason I come when we talked about that, the first one, and... and, and was that lying through my teeth? Uh, well, no, you, you mentioned you kind of turned into Julianne Moore and stuff about how that was kind of a big person yeah. to have.